Hey, Doug, how are you? Fine, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, when you look at that third quarter for you guys, what kind of allowed Arkansas to, to pull away in, in the fashion they did? Uh, you know, they, they, they shoot the ball well. We knew that. They, they hit a couple tough ones. You know, they started off the game on a little bit of a run. I thought we responded and somehow got that thing back into a manageable game, tied at, tied at half. Uh, and so we, we know that they're going to hit a couple tough, tough ones. You just can't give them the easy ones. And sometimes when we turn that ball over, and, and they are good when they have the numbers and the advantages uh, that, you know, they take advantage of it. And then we get maybe one shot and, and not every shot in the second half. In some ways, the second half spacing offensively was better than the first. It's just that we didn't take advantage of some of those open shots that we needed to hit. So, um, you know, you, you always get judged by the final result. But, uh, you know, in some ways, that second half offensively for us was better than the first. And maybe defensively, they, they were both about a C because I thought they just missed a lot of shots in the first half rather than us actually stopping them. At, at this point in the season, are you trying to look more like performance oriented or result oriented? I know like if you're going to make a push to the end of a tournament, obviously the results matter, but, but are you trying to just figure out like, hey, if we put together good quarters, eventually it's going to come together and, and do a full 40 minutes? Yeah, that's not as dumb of a question as what I, what I first thought when you said it, because it, it actually, to be honest with you, it's, it's what we do. And, and we think that uh, w when we concentrate on the standards, it actually allows us to win more games. If it's just straight out, hey, our goal is to win this game and all that stuff, that's just more rah-rah stuff. It, it is more about that standard of play and getting momentum and, and playing the right way. And the reason we do it is because it, it, is, it is the end result. We, we are trying to win. That is the major goal. We just think the best way to do it is, is, throughout, is pr improving throughout the season. Courtney, go ahead. Coach, obviously, Danae getting into foul trouble and then fouling out later in the game. But how much did you just think that impacted you guys as a whole today? It, I mean, it definitely impacts us. And, um, you know, we just can't afford for anybody to get banged up a little bit. You know, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and Annie wasn't out very long, but she turns her ankle and she was getting ready to go on a nice little roll. And right when we needed some baskets because they were playing at a pretty high level. And then Jerkayla Jordan had aggravated her leg and, and had to monitor those minutes. Um, you know, those are the kinds of things you can, you can have a smaller bench, but things have to be perfect body wise. Things have to be perfect officiating. If they're not, uh, you're going to have to make some more shots than what we made. Do you think sort of your depth issues are what's really just stopping you guys right now from being able to put those full for four quarters together? You know, yeah, sometimes, but, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's a little bit of execution. Uh, sometimes the execution is right and you just don't make the shot, but we've made a few shots uh, to, to win the games that we've had. So it's, it's always a combination, but, you know, we're not going to stop fighting and we're not going to stop competing. And, um, you know, I was really proud. And again, trust me, nobody wants to win this thing more than we do. But, but you have to celebrate a person like Charlie coming in at the end and staying in the fight and getting a couple of rebounds and making a nice post move. And, and I don't ever want to hear anybody say those are meaningless minutes. Those are minutes that, that are, could come down the line and, and prove to be very important and vital to our season and her career, uh, you know, making a dribble drop and scoring with, you know, two minutes to go and the game's out of hand. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to celebrate that. Thanks coach. Andy, go ahead. Just quickly following up about Danae. I know obviously the foul trouble kind of like kept her off the floor for a little bit, but Zero shots. I mean, do, do you kind of hope to get her going a little bit more offensively when she can be on the floor? Yeah. And, and, and again, we can't, you know, Danae's an outstanding rebounder, obviously. She's, she's learning how to score. Uh, but what happens a lot, if she's, if she's just down there all by herself, we, we need one more person, you know, probably two more people down there battling so she can grab them. Because otherwise you just isolate on one person blocking out. And I thought that happened uh, a little bit too much, but you know, some of that might have been my fault because of our 
our ineptitude uh, with our conversion defense versus, you know, our last game. And, and then these guys run, you know, as well as anybody in the conference. So we wanted to make sure we got people back, but, you know, that doesn't help out Danae when she's the only one rebounding. But yeah, um, I mean, she's, she's developing as an offensive player. Uh, she plays her heart out and, you know, and it hurt a little bit when she was in some foul trouble. But, but again, Charlie did a pretty nice job stepping in. The injuries you mentioned for, for Jaquela and, and Annie, uh, do, you, do you think those are have any like long lasting effects or were those pretty, pretty minor overall? I, I sure hope they're minor. I, I, Annie's, Annie was able to come back pretty quick. Um, you know, Jaquela was, was pretty sore after this game. And that one probably worries me a little bit more, but um, you know, she's, she's a pretty tough kid and can play through some things. We, but you know, I, we need to take care of those bodies the best we can. We got time for just a couple more. Robbie, go ahead. Yeah, coach. I was going to ask about uh, Charlie. I mean, she hasn't gotten a ton of minutes, and Danae's kind of man that spot. But how have you seen her kind of develop over um, the time that you've spent with her? And how big do you feel like this performance was for her to just get some confidence and get some extended minutes today? Uh, I hope it's big because when, when I first got here in August or September, whenever it was. She couldn't catch a ball like she was afraid of her shadow and, uh, and and I'm not saying she's a world beater right now, but but she's made tremendous strides uh, with her game and going after a ball. Even in that Georgia game, we put her um, put her in at a, at a tough time and she grabbed a couple balls and and uh, got after some loose balls, changed the complexion of that game a little bit in that late in that first half. So. You know, I hope these these little successes within failures uh, were able to build uh, Charlie's game up to be a, a a good backup for Danae. All right, thanks everybody.